Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Mountain West action just about set to go. Players wrapping up warm-up. Kickoff coming up. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. is on the field to kick this one off and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started from the seven they'll bring him down at the 30. the quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive At the 40. That's a game of 10 on the play. That'll make it second and inches. He gets out to about the 42 yard line. The running back gets the first. He's a reliable ball carrier, as he showed right there. He got the two yards they needed for a new set of downs. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Takes it right side for a good game. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Two down, two down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Brought down around the 41 yard line. Gain of 12 yards. First down. throw incomplete one of his receiver he's unable to hit his receiver he overthrew it yeah and that's a throw he should make every single time from the 41 yard line second down they come out on an empty backfield throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete that brings us third and ten quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Lowe's a kid right now, Herbie, that I think a lot of people didn't know about maybe a month or so ago. Right now, he's starting to climb that ladder as one of the great ones in college football. There's certain points in a guy's career where they have an opportunity to kind of take that next step, and this young man has been able to do that. He's been given the opportunities to make big plays, and he's been able to capitalize on it. We'll see if that continues today. Are they going to get him the ball? And if they get him the ball, can he continue to make the big plays that this offense has really started to grow custom to? Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. 
Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. He scrambled. And they push him out at the 34. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. From their own 34-yard line, first down. tries to buy some time. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 48-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 48. Tackle after positive yardage. Gain of four on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Gonna go across the middle. Caught. He's tackled at about the 21. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. From the 21-yard line, it's first down. It's the tailback. Tackle made at about the nine-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give them a first down. Linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. He has some room. Nice run to the outside. That brings him second and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Here we go, folks. Third and goal from the four. And the goal line defense digging in here. Going to the end zone. Touchdown for the tight end. They had a mismatch and exploited it for the score. If you're right, the tight end had that one all the way, and there wasn't much the defense could do. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Off we go to San Antonio. There was never any room to breathe in this game. The Bobcats win it 34-31. In other games, the Little Apple is rocking as Kansas State is ready to go. The Horned Frogs keep pounding away on the ground, and they find Tater. TCU has the edge, 7-0. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Idaho is lining up to kick this one off. He'll return it from the 6. He's out to the 30, and he's tackled to the 35-yard line. The Vandals are right where they want to be early in this one, Parker. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He lets it go. 
He almost had it, but it's incomplete. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. From their own 35-yard line, second down. He's at the 40. Looks left. Picked off at the 30 for the 20. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. A short yardage defense here. Nice move, and he scores. And a halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And he tacks on the extra point. Bennett has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. Tackle at the 31 yard line. I know his defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. Now, here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. That brings up second and nine. Excellent open field tackle. That's a game of three on the play. First down. Mike 41, Mike 41. Check 99, check 99. Strike to his receiver, no good. You know, he's been working really hard lately on this fundamental. In fact, the other day in practice, I was really watching him work with the quarterback coach, and they've been focusing on that aspect of it. Here, it looked like he may have taken a step backwards and really just let that one go. He steps out at the 49. Quick throw out to the receiver. Third down. Flips it, middle to the running back. And he's tackled in the open field. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. Green looking to knock one inside the 20 here on this punt. And down he goes at the 23-yard line. Idaho's on a roll. They've really been clicking in all phases of this one early. Yeah, when you play a team like this that you know you're physically better than, just leave no doubt. Take control of the game early and try to dominate, and that's what we've seen. We played one quarter. Idaho leads it 14-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Runs with it, and he's got room. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. He's going to try and scramble. And he's taken down at the 50. Check. 
quickly to the tight end, incomplete. From the 50, it's second down. Tack on any yardage. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Scrambling around. And he hits him hard at the 33. From the 33-yard line, first down. They'll bring him down right around the 20. number eight on the drive. The Cowboys had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Now he's scrambling, and down he goes, right around the 12-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. The stop at about the 11. Barnes was his intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Prince takes it at the 8. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 36. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Fires it out. Brought down in the open field. I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do today. It's, you know, they're running the football and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties and puts a lot of pressure on them to have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action pass, boy, I feel really good about it. It's getting my quarterback in rhythm, slowing down the defense, and giving us a chance to make big play. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Gets it out quickly. He's taken down at the 45. Gaining four yards. That'll bring up third and six. And a quick throw. Tackle around the 44-yard line. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. goes over the goal line and this will be a touchback the vandals offensive staff i think has done a good job 
of keeping their wide receiver in the game. Even though he's not having great stats, he's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack, I think. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention, really as a decoy, open up other avenues of this offense. We've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense. And who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. So the sack makes this a second and long. Take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Miller comes away with five yards on the scramble there. It's third down at 13 to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. And that was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. Wyoming's going to have to use their second timeout of the half. Ryan is waiting for the snap. They'll bring him down at the 49-yard line. Well, we've played a half of football. Idaho's lead is 17. David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He'll return it from the six. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Gets it. He's in space. Out of bounds around the 30-yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, and he can't hold on. Williams is intended to see the on the play. Third down. tries to buy some time and he tackles him hard at the 40 yard line from their own 40 yard line first down they'll spread the field here let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook completes it but he can't shake the defense Zips it out to the left. And he stays in bounds to make the catch. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. He's into the open field. Touchdown, Idaho! And he adds the extra point. 
It was a six play 74 yard drive and they come away with a touchdown. So our score 24 nothing. Bennett gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 29 yard line. The Vandals continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. Mike 41. Get a wedge, Passes it to the middle of the field. He's tackled at about the 47 yard line. That makes it second and six. Quick throw. Tackle made around the 32-yard line. Call it a gain of 21 yards. First down. Mike, Mike, Mike 41, Mike 41. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Brought down at the 11. He makes it to the nine. Third and five, nine yards to the goal line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Makes the catch and look out. He's gonna come up shy of the first down marker, guys. Had that not been a great defensive effort, he would have easily gotten there. Kick is up, and the field goal is good. Green has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. I'm sure that touchdown on their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. He's scrambling, decides to slide. A five-yard quarterback scramble. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. Barnes picks up two yards with a carry. That'll bring up fourth and one. Bray, back deep to return. Bray, fields it at the 34. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. 
There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And that one's incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 49. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's level at the 35-yard line. Gutierrez makes the tackle at the 35-yard line. First down. And he is drilled at the 26. That's a deep nine. That brings up second and nine. Five wide. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Loss of one there for the halfback. We played three, and this one's pretty much gone as expected. 24 to 3, Vandal. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. And he's tackled at the 18-yard line. Gain of nine yards. First down. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. From the 18-yard line, second down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Blanchard gets about four yards on the play. Taken down at the one. That's a gain of 13 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Scrambling around. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. converts the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Kansas State at home at Bill Snyder Family Stadium, ready to go in Manhattan. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for TCU, they try to become bowl eligible. Anderson's knack for hitting the hole has been most beneficial as he's found the end zone. The Horned Frogs are on top, 27-24, midway through the fourth quarter. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. No he's to the 20. And he's hammered down. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They go with the run. He makes his way to about the 32. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. And down he goes around the 47-yard line. First 
from their own 47-yard line. It's first down. He fights forward to about the 49. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. From the 48-yard line, third down. They'll spread the field with five wide. scrambled and they make the stop the 37 yard line i'm telling you quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop you have to scheme around them which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook first and ten ball on the 37 just over two minutes in the game brought down after a nice run up the middle barnes picks up five with the carry the cowboys call a timeout that's their second of the half At about the 29-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. This is the eighth play of this drive. Inside the 10. Quick throw to the tight end. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the one-yard line. opportunity to score here inside the five it's first down and goal defense stacked in tight here Splits the uprights with the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and restate. The football's flying all over the lot in the Big 12. There was never any room to breathe in this game. Boyd's got a knack. When he smells that goal line, he is rarely denied. And he found the end zone a couple of times in this. Kansas State gets the W, 31-30. In other games, the Gators came into the game ranked ninth. After the bitterly disappointing loss, how far will the pollsters move them down? And for South Carolina, their hot streak continues. South Carolina wins it 24-21. All right, thanks, Reese. Idaho to kick. He'll return it from the six. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 31. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's got it with room to run. He's taken down around the 43-yard line. 
That makes it first and ten. Easy, easy, easy. Eagle. He lets it fly. They'll bring him down around the 11 yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 11-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Out to the receiver, and it's knocked away. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. Complete touchdown. I like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. on the extra point. A five-play, 69-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. So our score, 31-17. He's tackled the 39-yard line. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 42-yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He'll go down to one knee. Idaho's team right now aware that they are a team. Hey, they're starting to shine today. Everybody else picked up the pace, though. I think we all came in expecting to see that star player really shine. And, and the fact that they didn't have a great game from him and still won the football game, boy, I walk away from this game as a viewer just thinking even that much more about this team than maybe what I thought prior to the football game.